Hi guys and welcome to another unboxing video and in this video we take a look at an item that's an awesome bit of kit that only I seem to be the one using in the whole family but it's not to say that anyone else can't use it either. Now for those of you who might or might not be observing you might realise I'm lacking of hair. That's a self choice thing. Getting older you tend to lose a bit of hair so why not just cut your own hair and I decided to get rid of it rather than going for the comb over look. My wife saw these hair clippers online for 25 quid and it says they're rechargeable and if I just put on the screen here um, what it has so basically it's hair clippers rechargeable Amazon 25 quid and I thought well it's worth a shot I've tried Remington I've tried Braun and I've tried Philips all the rich range from about 50 to 80 pounds so they do generally go wrong after a period of time, stop working, even if you all the blades like it says you're supposed to. So I thought, right, okay, I'll go for this. This has a ceramic blade, it says. Comes well packaged, as you can see, you've got the instruction booklet there. And uh, it's very clearly laid out, which is a good thing because obviously, being old, losing your hair, you tend to lose your eyesight too. And again, those of you observant, the detectives of you lot probably realize I wear glasses, and that's most of the time. Anyway, going back to the instructions, what do we have here? Well, it's clearly laid out diagrams and it shows you precisely how you're supposed to fix it, put it together and what it has and what the functions do. It's got a warranty with it too, which is pretty good. And uh, well, in fact, it's a two year warranty. And uh, just going through here, it's supposed to last 99 minutes. Now, I've yet to put that to the test, but we'll soon find out by the end of the video if that is true or not. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm happy with it so far. Easy instructions, clearly labeled, clearly visible. Okay, so let's have a look at this. Comes nicely packaged, ah, right. Well, there's the first thing, it feels very light. Take the packaging off, well, yeah, it feels nice and light. That's obviously the graded thing here. So you twist that and it looks like, yeah. Okay, so with that itself, that actually allows it to go lower without putting attachments on or higher. I only assume that big fat button is the on off button, as the instructions say. So it looks good. Well, it looks snazzy, it's light, it's very plasticky in the hand, but uh, certainly very light. At the moment, it feels very flimsy, so not sure on it so far. But I keep telling myself 25 quid, if it lasts about four or five months or even a year, then we're outperforming the other very expensive brands. So it might work at Chevy buying quite a few of these. Ooh, it has battery charge. Oh, different settings. And it's got an LCD display. Very nice. Like it so far. So different speed. So you press it once and it's on full power. Press it again and it's on low power. If I can show you the display there, it looks well it's nice. Okay, so the display is nice and clear, nice little speeds. Okay, so looking at these attachments then, so they oh, it's just a bit fiddly putting that on, it's not well uh, it, it's cheaply made you can see that but i guess it's okay it's just cheapy sort of plastic seems to fit in there okay all right so there's one attachment uh, a little bit stiff putting it on and as you can see even though i do weight training and martial arts you can see that even i'm struggling trying to get this thing off okay so it's just obviously a bit of technique getting used to it no doubt when you use these attachments they will probably loosen up in time hopefully that's the case well, here's the charging cable. So it's just a new, normal USB connector. Just undo this one, and we'll start getting the thing connected, I think. And then uh, we'll just see what you get with the thing as well. We'll just start laying things out so you can see what you have. We've got oil here for the ceramic blades, and you've got all these other attachments there for different lengths of hair. Ooh, what's this? Ah, well, that's quite nice. Yeah, I like this. This is obviously the smock. It goes around you, stops all the hair going back over your neck or indeed over your clothes. Now, experience has told me in the past that these don't work particularly well, so uh, approach with caution because you'll go there wearing a nice shirt, getting someone to clip your hairs, and then suddenly feel like you've got uh, little prickles down the back of your neck, but it doesn't catch at all. So, proof would be in the eating, as they say. And I'm demonstrating my ability as a hairdresser here. I know what this is. This is a comb. This is something I used to use when I was younger. And apparently you use this to brush your hair with or to comb your hair with. I've seen people use them and no doubt you might be using them too. But uh, 
certainly a rarity in this house. Not with my wife, not with my son, not with my daughter, because they all have very long hair. So let's have a look in this bag. Oh, that's quite nice. It's a nice little bag to put everything in. It's okay. It feels small, but oh, that's okay. It pops out nicely. That's okay. So you've got someone to put all your gubbins. It doesn't look long enough to the eye, but we'll have a look at that. So let's grab this stuff and put this inside, see if it all fits. The feel of the bag is of mediocre quality. That's okay. You can put your charger in. Well, that okay. There was a bit of a struggle putting that. Well, that fits. That's cool. Then you've got the oil. You've got your little cleaning brush there. So you clean bits off. Now uh, this is what you get. I just lay it out here just so you can get a rough idea. Now for 25 quid you're getting all of this. Is that good value for money? Well at the moment it appears so. But uh, I've yet to use the thing. There's the comb. Now comb feels very cheap quality. Uh, nice little grip in the middle but just a cheap comb. Um, and the attachments themselves, yeah, they're okay, but they feel very plasticky. And as you saw earlier, ah, oh, hold on a second, these are the ones that go around your ears, those angled ones. So they're pretty good. So you can do the left and right ears without sort of having to angle and bend someone's ear off to be able to get in there. Um, but yeah, the, the quality's mediocre, but like I say, you're going to struggle to get them on and off the thing. So there you go, I'll lay those out nicely for you so you can see what you get clipper wise. A little bit of my OCD showing through here. I have to neaten them up so it's a bit more pleasurable to the eye. It's eye proof then. I prefer things looking like that. Okay, so let's look at the cable. Oh, okay, so we've got one attachment that goes to the shaver itself, which is obviously that port there. And does it only go on one way or the other? Gosh, this is stiff. Oh, no, actually, no, it's not too bad. It's just the angle on my uh, ability to use my fingers, my inability to use my fingers that struggled there. Uh, there's the oil there, and again, I will lay these out so you can have a little look at what this looks like too. There you go. Right, so back to, I was going to call it a vacuum cleaner, there it's not, it's a shaver or clippers, hair clippers. It looks lovely, doesn't it? It's not metal, apart from the, uh, the cluttered blade bit at the end there, and the ceramic blade. But everything else on the outside is very plasticky, although it looks metallic-y. It's very light and it feels very flimsy, um, but it looks lovely, doesn't it? And at the moment, it looks and seems to perform pretty well. I was hoping that the actual settings would go slightly below um, the 0.3 that it's indicated on the uh, clipper, like down to zero, um, but you can't have everything. So it doesn't com com completely go down to the skin, so bear that in mind too. Just having a little flip through here, just at the different angles, so you see, see what you're getting. I appreciate it. Okay, let's hear the operation. That's the high speed. It's a slightly lower speed. I'm not sure why you would need to go to the lower speed, but those of you who know about hair clipping will probably know the answer to that. I personally use things at full power. Now to the display, and as you can see, going through the different settings, you've got a left and right little indicator which denotes the speed, don't know how, but it does, but you've got the charging time, which is awesome. Now, the charging time from absolute zero uh, was about three and a half hours, and that's literally when it was dying. Uh, it came with a charger, as you can see here, um, and I've used it a lot since. Um, I've used it on my sun's hair, and I've used it on my hair, and apart from the end results, of the, obviously on the hair, it's worked fantastically and I've used it 11 times so far over a period of three months. So I can conclusively say this is definitely worth the purchase. If you want hair clips that are cheap and reliable and it's cordless, then these are the ones for you. Okay, so let's look at the battery. It says four to five hours there. Well, it was shorter than that as far as I was concerned. Uh, it might vary and that might be a worst case scenario they put in the instruction booklet as opposed to best case scenario. Three and a half hours it took me. Okay, so have a look at the blades here. It feels a bit cheapy underneath here, um, but it does say um, to oil it before and after use. I've put a couple of drops on the blade there in three points, as you can see, and uh, I suggest you do that because that will obviously give it longevity. Um, so let's have a look here. Just a couple of little drops, that's all you need. And trust me, this works. So it looks nice, it works really well, and it seems to be reliable and I've used it 11 times. You've got to equate that to going to a hairdresser's nowadays and how much that would cost you. 
I, I think the normal case for a barber at the moment, well certainly locally where I live, is between 10 and 15 pounds a buzz. So that's quite a lot. And we've used it 11 times before uploading this video. So you do the maths, because my maths is horrendous. It's obviously better value doing this than going to a hairdresser. Um, if you need to shave your head, like I do, then this is also pretty good too. But it doesn't go down to the skin. However, it goes near as damn it down to the skin. I can't tell the difference. But if you run your hand over it, it feels a little bit rougher. But it's not like using a razor blade on it. Do I like this? Yes, I do. Do I like the way it feels? No, but it's cheap and it looks nice. And for good measure. Certainly with the fresh charge in there, it seems to run pretty well. But I can tell you that uh, the charge doesn't deplete like you think it would do. So the lower the numbers doesn't denote the power going through it, it just will just die on you completely. So this is a great purchase. However, the comb does not fit in the bag. Let's have a look at this. Comb, not even at an angle will it fit in there. Uh, unless you elongate the bag and squill it up. Buy it guys, you won't be disappointed.